Welcome back, everyone. The time right now is 627, and NASA is taking its next step towards sending Americans back to the moon and beyond. The SLS rocket, dubbed the next generation mega moon rocket, made its way to the launch pad yesterday. It's part of the space agency's Artemis moon program, which will take us back to the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. NASA hopes to launch their first mission, Artemis 1, from the Kennedy Space Center in June. Talk about out of this world. So that was what temperatures yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was fantastic, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be a little different today. We start off warm and dry, but the afternoon will include a few thunderstorms, it looks like, in both the upstate and the mountains. Just be prepared, especially between around 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock this afternoon. And if you are headed out the door this morning, Anderson drivers, this is your commute, Clemson Boulevard, mile marker 19. Not a whole lot of cars on the road, not seeing any issues. All right, still ahead here. Thousands of fans are expected to pack downtown Greenville today for March Madness. We're going to tell you where you can park the car safely and avoid a fine. That's next. Much more when we return here on 7 News. We'll be back in about two minutes as we take you out to downtown Spartanburg. The time right now, 828. Now on 7 News, March Madness is here with players hitting the court today for the first round of games. We have live team coverage on how you can join in on all the action all weekend long. Four games here at the well starting at 1240 this afternoon. There are eight schools involved with March Madness in Greenville. We get to know them with a special quiz. Ooh, okay. It's Friday, March 18th. The time right now, 6 30. I'm Sabila Vargas. Thanks so much for joining us. So, March Madness, the first round of games begin today at the well. We're so excited about this. A lot of you are. We have live team coverage all morning long. Seven News anchor Fred Cunningham is live at the well. He's breaking down the games. He's ready for some b ball. Christine Scarpelli also has more on how the entire family can join in on the action, whether you want to get into basketball or not. She's got so many ideas. All weekend long, lots going on. We're going to talk about that that in a few and we're going to check first the weather your forecast for seven weather meteorologist Malachi Rogers yesterday was extraordinary today what what do you say well yesterday was a slam dunk it was fantastic we had great weather yesterday today we're going to pass off to some different kind of weather we're going to see a little cloud cover we're going to see rain moving in and it's something you want to pay close attention to later on this afternoon it starts out pleasant enough we have 40s and 50s but clouds are moving in and as we head into the late part of the afternoon this is when rain 
makes an arrival. Three to four o'clock, we expect to see showers and a few thunderstorms in the upstate. So be aware of that. Be ready for that heading into your Friday afternoon. All right, that's a look at our Friday weather. Let's get a look at our Friday morning traffic with Olivia. Hey, good morning. Happy March Madness. Happy Friday to all of you at home. We're going to uh, pass that one over to Malachi this morning. We have green across the board for the most part. If you are headed out the door across the upstate, you shouldn't see any significant issues. Piedmont drivers, we have this crash. Uh, for Greenville County, Moon Anchors Road crash at Blakely Avenue involving injuries. The roadway is blocked in that direction. It's only going to impact you if you take Augusta Road, take J. Walter Moon Boulevard to get there. Other than that, shouldn't see any slowdowns for your morning drive. Live look out the door at our DOT cameras this morning. This is your Pelham exit. Starting to see more cars on the interstate. Nonetheless, moving at the speed limit. I'm getting a little uh, basketball envy here. <laughs> I need one. March Madness is here and thousands of fans are expected to pack the well to watch their favorite college teams take to court. But how well do you know your team? Here to tell us more is 7 News' Fred Cunningham. He's live at the well in Greenville with a special quiz. I love this. <laughs> Fred? Good morning, Sabila, and yes, hey kids, it is Friday and it's finally game day at the well. We get started at 1240 this afternoon. Let's give you a look at the lineup of the games you'll see. It begins with a number two seed Auburn out of the SEC taking on Jacksonville State. That's followed by Southern Cal against Miami. The evening sessions begin at 710 with Duke against Cal State Fullerton. It wraps up with Michigan State against Davidson. Those two nighttime games, you'll see both of them live on Channel 7. Okay, we've got four games today involving eight schools that come from six different states. So how well do we know our teams? Let's get you ready with the March Madness Quiz Greenville Edition. What is the mascot of Jacksonville State University? Is it a Jaguar? No. State. Jacksonville State is Jacksonville the Jacksonville State University. Game yes. Box. Correct. How do you spell Mike Krzyzewski's last name? Krzyzewski. <laughs> Mike Krzyzewski. Let's go with K-S-E-Y-C-H-O-A-O-V-S-Y. K-Y. Not quite. S-H-U-C-H-S-E. Wait. How do you spell Mike Krzyzewski's last name? K-R-Z-Y-Z-E-W-S-K-I. Correct. Very good. S-H-A-F. Uh, I'll tell you what. No, how do you spell Mike? M-I-K-E. You're correct. <laughs> okay. Marion Morrison graduated from the University of Southern California in 1929. We know him better by what name? An actor. 1929 graduate, Marion Morrison, Southern Cowboy. This is a good one. Was it in uh, Gone with the Wind? No. Clark Gable? No. <sighs> Malcolm X. John Wayne. Oh. <laughs> Born in England, by the way. There you go. Auburn's most famous basketball player was nicknamed the Round Mound of Rebound. Who is he? Oh, gosh, I do know this one. Uh on TV a lot. Yeah, uh, 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 Charles Barkley. Very good, Woo. very good. Cal State Fullerton University is located in this city. Fullerton. Fullerton. Very good, very good. Which star of The Godfather attended Michigan State for one year? To the Michigan State for one year. In The Godfather. Yeah, um, Al Pacino. Close. Oh, it was uh, Con, James Con. James Con, correct. Boom! You're the first one to get that one. Everybody goes Pacino, right? There yeah. you go. We managed to get a James Con reference into March Madness. By the way, if you're coming down for the games today, you can get here as early as 10 o'clock because the Fan Fest is going to be going on. That opens right at 10 a.m. for today's sessions. It's over at the Furman Plaza. They've got drinks, they've got food, live music, a good way for you to do your pregame before you head into the game. Sabila? Yeah, and also learned that uh, John Wayne was born in London or England. Wow, that's cool. All right, with thousands of fans expected to pack downtown Greenville, the city says if you plan to get in on the action, you do need to know where to park beforehand. Uh, officials say that the, there's going to be open parking at Church Street Garage. That's going to cost you $10, but it's also expected to fill up very quickly. And now if you live downtown or a nearby street, the city says make sure that you have your parking permit visible to avoid a ticket.
If we start getting calls about people who have blocked intersections, people who live there that can't get out of their driveways, we're not just going to write one ticket. It's gonna be an opportunity for our parking services to do a full sweep of the area and write as many tickets as they see among violators. The Greenville Convention Center will also offer free parking and a shuttle service today. We have more on the bus routes and parking information for March Madness. Just go to our website, WSPA.com. Some local businesses are also offering specials and events during today's games. Uh, there's also going to be action for the entire family that we were telling you about Fan Fest. That happens tomorrow. Uh, 7 News is Christine Scarpelli. She's live in downtown Greenville exploring Hello. all of our options. Lots to do this weekend, right? Listen, we are exploring. We were just in M. Judson Booksellers. So much to do, especially if basketball is not your thing. If it is and you want the games, the food and the games on the big screens, head on over to the Furman Plaza over at the well or on Saturday, 12 to 5, right downtown where we are very close by on Maine, Washington and North. There's going to be Fan Fest. You can enjoy playing a little ball. There's going to be food out there for sure. Plenty to do a um, couple different things set up and even for kids, the Children's Museum. But we want to get right to Reedy Rides. That's right, R-E-E-D-Y, Reedy Rides. We got Jamie here explaining all the different options you have for you and the family if they want to come and ride. And, you know, Todd made a good point. You come, your team loses in the first whatever game, right? It's a game. Is that yeah. how basketball works? <laughs> You gotta find something else to do, right? Yeah. Okay, what do we need to know? Absolutely. So you can call us and make reservations. We have a two hour special for all the NCAA fans. So smart. And so uh, if you don't have much time, but you just wanna come out and get, uh, get on a bike and explore Greenville okay. and the Swamp Rabbit Trail, these are the perfect bikes to do it. We have regular seven speed uh, pedal bikes and we also have um, electric assist bikes. Awesome, this makes it a lot more accessible. And if we can kind of show them the electric assist makes it a little easier to pedal, is that right? That's right. So it has a battery. Um, you can turn on the level of assist all the way up to five. Oh, that's where it is right there on the yes. handlebar? Okay. Very accessible and uh, it works just like a bike. Um, changing gears and brake, it, but it makes it uh, quite a bit easier. Very good. So if your joints aren't exactly working the way they used to, or maybe you're a little bit older, right? Those bikes might be a really good option. If Absolutely. You want to go kids. If you want to get further faster, it's a fantastic option. Fantastic. You said on the trail it can be a, a really popular. You might want to reserve a time. Yes. So we are open from 9 a.m. until about 6:30 these days, and uh, stop by our store at 50 South Richardson Street. Very close to here. Very close, so just a block away. And you can park in a parking garage, which we just heard. Yes, so okay. Points at Parking Garage is a great place to park. We're two blocks from the trail, so you just ride right down to the trail and uh, explore. So it's a, a lot of fun. Very good, and she was mentioning they, they have a certain amount of bikes and there's gonna be a ton of people in town, so make sure to reserve. Hey guys, we'll put a link at WSPA.com. Plenty to do, lots of fun happening downtown. Stay with us. The next hour we got food as we normally do. Very good reading rides. Thanks, Thanks guys, back to you. I knew you'd get there <laughs> sometime. All right, you can find upcoming March Madness events and matchups and times on our website. Just go to WSPA.com. Click on March Madness at the top of the homepage. All right, coming up next here on 7 News, new details in the investigation into a Greenville woman's disappearance. Why the FBI is now looking into a man from Rutherford County. 